Police body cam video of a man being arrested after he allegedly shot a restaurant employee because he was angry about guacamole. The reason that this happened is because of poor decisions, inability to control emotions, and that's what led uh, to the shooting. It happened Friday night at the Chipotle on Evergreen in Southfield. This happened right across the street from the police station. So what's the nerve of that? And you think you're going to get away with it? 32 year old Aaron Michael Brown arrested a short distance away at a press conference on Monday, a timeline. The suspect, Mr. Aaron Brown, entered the Chipotle restaurant with his wife. While standing at the register, Mr. Brown asked for extra guacamole on his food that he had just purchased. Police say he was upset because it wasn't enough guacamole. Mr. Brown then called the female Chipotle employee a derogatory name of the B word which upset her understandably. Fellow employees took her to the back to try to calm her down, leaving the front counter unattended. Our suspect, Mr. Brown, uh, who previously had paid for his food items, uh, began to proceed to go around the counter and began to bag his own items, and then he took a cup and filled it with guacamole. A 21-year-old male employee tried to stop him. <laughs> physical altercation, and then Brown, a licensed CPL holder with no prior criminal history, allegedly shoots the employee in the leg, then takes his food and calmly walks out. I was in my car and I saw him just walk out to his car, close the door and just drive off like he didn't he didn't speed off or anything. It was it was weird to see, but it was like you think you want to get out of there fast, but he it's like he didn't care. I mean, it was very scary. I, I don't know. Brown is being held on a $20,000 cash bond and facing several charges, including assault with intent to do great bodily harm. The victim is expected to make a full recovery. In Southfield, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News. Crazy, right? You know, it's, it's insane that you got people out here, some people out here arguing, getting into fights, and in this case, shooting people over fast food. And you really have to feel for the people who, who have to work in these establishments. Uh, they got to put up with this stuff. Um, did this, I mean, this guy, he could have gone about things in a completely different way. And if he felt as if he didn't get the amount of guacamole that he should have received, then maybe ask the person that's behind the counter that's serving it, you know, if you could get a little bit more. Um, I, I think people are cool about it. You know, they, they would have been cool about it and, and maybe hooked it up as long as he wasn't acting in the ass, being rude and disrespectful about it. Um, but you, you can't sit up there and argue and fight about something that isn't really all that important. Now, I, I understand and I get it that, you know, people don't want to feel like they're being cheated or, or taken advantage of when they're paying for something. But if it was that much of an issue, why not ask for a manager? Um, I think this right here just shows us somebody who lacks self-control and common sense. And then on top of that, he was walking around out here with a gun legally. I mean, he, he had a concealed carry permit. So I think that he was on this just bully and intimidation thing, you know, um, because we've seen that happen too um, with a lot of these fast food joints where people go in there. Some people go in there and they feel like they're going to bully and intimidate the workers. Um, but I also think that he felt big and bad because he had a gun and he, you know, wanted to get loud and disrespectful. Um, so he he's lucky. He He's lucky because you got to remember that this happened right across the street from a police station. And this could have played out a lot differently had a police officer or, you know, a group of officers decided to go over there for maybe lunch or something. And they just walk in with this guy tussling with the employee, waving a gun around. Or, it, I mean, it could have been differently had this guy um, kind of ran into another citizen inside that restaurant with a firearm of their own. So, I mean, things could have gone the other way in regards to him getting hurt or possibly losing his life over some damn guacamole. Um, but he did what he did, and now he's got to pay for it, and it's going to cost him more than, you know, just some extra gu uh, guacamole. You know, he, he's going to get some time to, to sit down for a while and, and think about what he did and, and the decision that he decided to make. And, uh, yeah, he's going to lose his concealed carry permit, and he may never be allowed to be around a gun again. But this right here is just idiotic behavior. Uh, there, there's no excuse for it. 
I mean, some people really have to stop thinking that just because you got a gun, it, it, it just makes them some kind of badass or a tough guy. Just because you're getting loud and verbally aggressive, that doesn't scare anybody. And, and to me, the loudest ones are usually the punks. So make make better choices, stay out of trouble, and um, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.